हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूजिस यूजिस नेट ऑनलाइन प्री कोचिंग टुडे आई विल डिस्कस डिसेंबर 2006 पार्ट थ्री ऑलरेडी हैव कवर्ड अप टू डिसेंबर 2006 पार्ट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टुडे आई विल गो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन टू हुच ऑफ द अलगोरिदम हैज द सेम एवरेज वर्स्ट केस एंड बेस्ट केस टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी मेन्स वॉट हुच अलगोरिदम हैज सेम time complexity for all cases okay for that binary search maximum of n numbers quick sort and fibonacci series this is a very tricky question it's a very simple if you understood what is the question itself otherwise it's very difficult to answer uh, if uh, for uh, knowing the different algorithm time complexity okay for this question number uh, they have given binary search and maximum of n numbers and uh, quick sort and fibonacci series i hope uh, first question binary search you know best case is big of one and worst case is is, is log n so obviously it is not there because best case and your uh, case are different and quick sort obviously it is uh, uh, in uh, sorted order it takes uh, um, means already input is a uh, uh, sorted order then it will take n square root of time but uh, in uh, average case and best case it is the n log n time that is also different and fibonacci series here simple thing finding the maximum of n number this is the one uh, this is the uh, case it will takes all time big of n unit of time because every time even if it is a first element itself is a very uh, means maximum number but you should compare with the all other remaining elements that's why definitely maximum of n number it will takes uh, in all cases it is a same unit of time it may be biggest of number it may be present in first case or it may be middle or it may be last or it may it may not present but you it should um, search for n elements that's why maximum of n number takes uh, in all case same time complexity binary uh, next one 22 question is binary search tree is an example of divide and conquer technique and uh, greedy technique back tracking and dynamic programming but binary search tree you know what is binary uh, tree and binary search tree uh, means uh, in general binary search tree is uh, uh, left side is less than the key element and right side uh, greater than or equal to the key element or uh, value of the you know, root node but uh, in which technique you will use to solve this type of problems usually you know it is a divide and conquer technique but you can solve the same uh, problem in using back tracking also but in what sense they are asking and uh, what sense we need to answer it's uh, somewhat uh, tricky because uh, question itself some uh, some ambiguity we can sa- uh, solve binary search tree in all other technique all techniques but uh, in what sense is it uh, time complexity sense or uh, space complexity sense which is the best technique uh, it's uh, based on the thinking i think this is the divide and conquer technique is the best uh, or else back tracking is the good technique for this okay now we'll go for question number 23 what is the time required to insert an element in an stack with linked implementation please keep this one it's a very important question most of the time it is asked this question uh, here an element in a stack means what here inserting single element it is asked repeatedly big go of 1 unit of to insert one element it will take one unit of time to insert n element it will take n unit of time so question is read it carefully okay now we'll go for question number 24 the equivalent post pick expression for given the given post pick expression d divided by e plus f plus b into c the given post pick expression now we need to find the post pick expression you know what is post picks fix the uh, all operators in uh, after the operands for this Uh, go for uh, this is a given consider as i think in a simple way uh, t1 t2 form this is higher priority e plus f we will take a t1 and uh, substitute this is next higher priority d divided by t1 is t2 and substitute this one i hope you have all are studied in all in uh, msc or mca it may be any uh, with any um, course so i hope it's easy to solve this one it's uh, uh, so option is c is the final answer but you need to solve this one don't guess it because one operator it may be miss so answer is wrong so please don't guess okay you solve this one manually okay now we'll go for question number 25 which one of the following 
is a physical data structure array linked list tags and tables uh, actually here uh, the question is which one is the physical data structure actually in computer science we will consider as array is a physical data structure because we here uh, array is fixed size one thing it stores in a fixed memory locations make uh, fixed is yes, with fixed position also so it is considered as a physical but sometime array can also mean the logical data type sometime we will use for uh, collection of different items uh, we will use logical also so we can take this array is the best but uh, linked list and stack uh, based on logical there is no question only array and tables will get a confusion which is the physical data structure in this i hope uh, uh, we can take it uh, array or tables okay so uh, i think so it is uh, array is uh, uh, best example for physical data structure in computer science okay we'll go for question number 26 how many ds1 signals are transported on a ds3 signals uh, i think this one we need some elaboration digital signal 3 is a digital signal level 3 t carrier it means also referred to as t3 lines I means what in t1 t2 t3 lines it is discussed in 2004 question paper uh, for that uh this is asked for ds1 signals are transported on a ds3 signals uh here uh, they given data rate for this signal is 44 bits and uh, the levels carry and transport here transported levels they are asking 28 ds1 signal to levels to uh, carry for ds3 so uh, for this particular ask uh, question is 28d is the option but this level is carry can transport d a 672 ds not level six channels here question is ds1 if it is ds not 672 they are to make uh, confusion they are given 672 second option than 28 uh, so while answering please um, careful about position of the answers also that is also make uh, some sense while uh, competitive exams okay Uh, that's why to con uh, to make you uh, wrong they have 672 in placed in a second position that's why okay now we'll go for uh, uh, for this question option d is the right answer if they ask ds not is 672 uh, here they ask ds1 so there is no confusion in it now we'll go for question number 27 a 10 base 2 network is limited to is it limited 10 base 2 is limited for 10 bytes per data field or 30 stations per segment or 40 segments or 50 bit of a cable here uh, they i have elaborated in detail 10 base 2 network is wired together in a bus topology it is used usually in which individual stations are connected directly in one long cable the maximum length of the particular segment in 10 base 2 is 185 meters this is i have given complete information of this cable but uh, sometime maybe question is different that's why if distance longer than this are required two or more segments must be connected using repeaters all together they can a total five segments connected using four repeaters as long as only three of the segments have been station attached to them this refer to five four three rule for this one uh, for five segments connected using four repeaters as long as three of the segments have been station attached this is this rule is 5 4 3 segments uh, four repeaters and uh, segments have uh, three stations attached to them every segment have three stations that's why it is 5 4 3 here a, seg- a 10 base 2 segment should have no more than 30 se- uh, stations wired to it this is the condition so limited to 30 se- sec- uh, stations per segment so uh, the ma- uh, the minimum distance between this station must be 0.5 meters means what uh, half of the kilometer uh, uh, sorry half of the meter uh, stations are attached to the cable using b b n c connectors uh, and the ends of the thin net cabling have b n c cable cable connectors uh, soldered or crimped to them okay this is complete information of this 10 base 2 cable so uh, the answer is a 10 base 2 network is limited to 30 se- stations per segment you keep this one so 
this is somewhat the distance related so option b is the right answer now we'll go for question number 28 the network 198 uh, point 78.41.0 um, is a uh, class a network class b network class c network or class t network it is a straightforward question i hope uh, no need to explain this question please keep this uh, uh, this table in uh, in your mind uh, i have explained only c but it may you may add d and e also up to 255 okay so class a network is 0 to 227 it's a start uh, this is end and this end and it's a start 128 to 191 here 198 it comes under class c network so option c is the right answer now we'll go for question number 29 subnet mask 255 255 255 192 is extend the network point to 16 bits extends the network portion to 26 bit extends the network portion to 36 bits has no effect on the network portion of the ip address this is given options but you need to understand what is subnet subnet network or subnet is a logical visible sub divisions of the ip network the practice of dividing a network into two or more network is called subnetting okay means what dividing one network into two or more sub network is called subnetting this one is option b because extended the network portion in up to 26 bits how it is based on this table this is addresses then these are the we can divide these many 26 bits and these are the hosts these are the net um, network masking this is given 255 255 252 192 so i think uh, sorry one minute this is 255 255 255 192 for the given in this table is so this is network mask uh, this is class c uh, so 26 option 26 extended the network portion up to 26 bits is the right answer so option b is the right answer for looking but you keep this table uh, for at least uh, some important uh, uh, network mask and particular addresses okay now we'll go for question number 30 the uh, lapb frame structure and the frame structure of the uh, sdlc are is it opposite both or is it identical or reverse or non-identical okay now we'll look at uh, what is exactly the three LAPB features supported by sdlc are frame types frame formats and field functions these are shared both hdlc and um, sdlc means what almost all uh, um, frame format everything is these all three uh, for given are same because uh, here uh, lapb and uh, features are supported by stlc frame types and frame format and field functions all three are both are same but also these are shared with the hdlc here not mentioned sometime maybe ask next time lapb is frame structure and frame um, format are same as hdlc maybe so all are these all three are identical but i have given what is lapb and what is stlc just go through it um for this question question number 30 is b is the right answer okay i hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, lecture series uh, if you have any queries anything just drop out your mail uh, and uh, please inform and uh, subscribe the channel thank you one and all